You know, that's why today I'm signing an executive order setting out a target of 50 percent of all passenger vehicles sold by 2030 will be electric and set an emotion on all out efforts model of General Motors. They're going to all electric. All electric is not going to work. I don't run a car company, but all electric is not going to work. Emissions of greenhouse gases need to peak within the next three years if we're to stave off the worst effects of climate change. And even then, we'd still need new technology to such. They're rooted in lies, all of them. Our next guest was once a climate alarmist, but now says the entire movement is, quote, a scam. Tom Harris is executive Biden plans to use seven and a half billion dollars of infrastructure money to build a half million electric vehicle charging stations across the country. As Western countries, which are historically, morally, politically, and perhaps even financially responsible for climate change, now paint themselves as green. Oh my fucking god! Well, ever since cars were invented in the year 1886. It has become the most integral machine of the human history. First car was called Benz Motor Wagon, patent and named by a German inventor, Carl Benz. First patent of car had a stationary gasoline engine that consisted of one cylinder, two stroke unit, which ran for the first time on New Year's Eve of 1879. Automobiles started gaining popularity in 20th century and people quickly rushed to own one as it was an affordable means of travel. It is no secret that cars have always been a lucrative business and provided jobs to 4.5% of US population, generating well over $500 billion each year and accounting for $70 billion in tax revenue. American Motor Company Ford, formed by Henry Ford in 1903, rushed to take a profit from this new groundbreaking field of technology and the rest is history. In 1900s, Ford became a household name, successfully mass producing cars and delivering across the nation from their headquarters in Detroit, Michigan. 2% of Americans in 1900s had a Ford affiliated jobs, which kept the US economy in balance, even during the tough time of war. So. It is natural for the auto industry infrastructure to grow and develop over the decades. Now, we are in the most important decade of automobile industry as the generic gas field vehicles are being replaced by more efficient and clean electric vehicles. President Biden is a big, big supporter of clean energy and electric vehicles. Since President Biden took office, Companies have invested nearly 85 billions in manufacturing of electric vehicle batteries and EV chargers in the United States alone. His $2.25 trillion American job plan includes a massive $174 billion investment in the electric vehicle industry as an effort of reducing CO2 emissions, which is responsible for the global warming. That is, if you believe in global warming. When carbon and other heat trapping emissions are released into the air, they act like a blanket holding heat in our atmosphere and warming the planet. It is estimated that in next century alone, the Earth's temperature will rise by 3.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is devastating for our environment. Greenhouse gas emissions from transportation account for about 28% of total U.S. greenhouse gas emissions, making it the largest contributor. As President Biden is desperately bringing awareness about green energy and electric vehicle, one must question, is electric vehicle really green? The fundamental difference between thermal cars and electric cars has to do with the process of transforming the potential or stored energy into a kinetic energy. In thermal cars, this energy is stored in a chemical form and is released through a chemical reaction inside the engine. Fuel-based vehicles emit carbon monoxide along with many other harmful greenhouse gases. This odorless, colorless, and poisonous gas is formed by the combustion of fossil fuels, such as gasoline and diesel, and is emitted primarily from cars and trucks. 
They release about 1.7 billion tons of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere every year, mostly from CO2. On average, a single car emits up to 24 pounds of CO2 per gallon of gas. Just think about that. That is absolutely ridiculous. Despite also having chemically stored energy, electric cars release it electrochemically without any kind of combustion, thanks to lithium ion batteries. This means that there is no fuel being burned and therefore no air pollution through CO2 occurring during driving. They are also more efficient than fossil fuels. So is this a clear win for electric movement? Not quite yet. Although they do not emit CO2 while being driven, they do it in three other stages. Stage one, manufacturing. Studies suggest that manufacturing an electric vehicle produces more carbon emissions than building traditional cars. According to Swedish Environmental Institute, 17.5 tons of CO2 is emitted by the making of an average electric car battery alone, and even more for larger batteries. Compared to this, traditional cars produce about 45 metric tons of CO2 in their average lifetime. EVs are made from rare earth metals like lithium, nickel, cobalt, and graphite as its components. Mining these metals itself causes CO2 levels to spike, not to mention the damage mining does to the environment and to the health of the people. That is the reason I made this video, so hit the like button so more people can watch this video and understand about electric vehicle. Studies have found significant cobalt as well as other metal exposure in nearby areas, especially among kids, as a result of producing of toxic waste and slags from cobalt mining. Smelting, a procedure required to separate the metals from their ores, can release sulfur oxide and other dangerous air pollutants. Stage 2, energy production. While electric cars don't directly emit carbon, this is of no point if the local method of producing electricity in your area comes from non-renewable energy source as coal, petroleum, and natural gas. An average EV battery requires 30 kilowatt per 100 miles. Creating 30 kilowatt of energy will emit about 30 pound of CO2. In comparison, most of the passenger cars can emit about 80 pounds of CO2 to run same 100 mile distance. Even though it is not clean, it emits much less compared to fueled run cars. Lucky for some, if you live in an area where energy is produced from a renewable source, you get to enjoy a carbon emission free vehicle and this is the ultimate goal. Stage 3, Recycling. Electric cars have huge chemical batteries and research is still ongoing for a low energy, environmentally friendly way to recycle them. 99% of lead acid batteries in the US are recycled, but the same can't be said for lithium ion batteries. Only 5% of all lithium batteries are recycled. Rest are either incinerated or dumped in landfills. This could cause lots of environmental problems. Until we find more and more batteries being recycled, mining for these rare earth metals will continue and make the EV industry less green. Though electric vehicles are not zero emission, it is a great short-term preventive response to climate change. Another important aspect of electric vehicle is its low running cost. In the middle of rising gas prices, electric vehicles are showing their sustainability and effectiveness. Running a gas vehicle is a challenge for many students like us because of gas price and maintaining cost. Whereas electric vehicles require electricity to function, which is inexpensive compared to gasoline. Also, they have very less components that require maintenance, which means low maintenance cost. These factors show clear advantage of electric vehicles over gas vehicles. There is also up to 7,500 tax subsidies upon owning a new electric vehicle. Everything good comes with something bad. And this is also true for the brand new manufacturing infrastructure of electric vehicle. Gray areas in the factories like range, reliability, and environmental consequences could slow down 
the development of electric vehicles. Scientists forecast that we have enough rare earth metals for next 150 years. For a time being, this is perfect time to switch to electric vehicles and help our planet against global warming until we build even cleaner means of electric consumption. Matter of fact, what are your thoughts on hydrogen fuels? Please drop it in the comment below and let me know what do you guys think about hydrogen fuel and how efficient it will be in the future or if it can even beat the market of electric vehicle. Thank you very much for watching guys. Like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video and subscribe for more content like this. So until next time, peace.